Hello and welcome as always. I'm your host, John RMS, otherwise known as Ace Bullion. And today I have a very, very unique and special coin that I'll be reviewing. As you can see, it's right here with my sticker covering it. That way you can't really see ahead of time. Um, but before I begin, please, as always, check out the links down below because Martin, the silver trader, sent me in this coin to review, give my honest opinion, and give you some information about this coin. So you can find this link under this video heading along with the Precious Metal Forum and, of course, my own personal website, Ace Bullion. So please take a minute after the video, have a look. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, hit that bell, and, of course, leave a comment and a like. Here we go. Okay, here we go. So this is the 2023 New Zealand Kiwi Specim Specimen Finish. Uh, tongue twister. Uh, and it's a one ounce silver coin. Now, at first you may think, hey, look, this is a bit of a gimmick, but let me actually try to convince you why actually I think this is going to be a really sought after and popular coin. So, as you can see, it is in a plastic holder. Luckily for us, it comes out. And uh, this is actually really, really cool. There's only 5,000 of these minted first off. And uh, that's something rather you know special in itself. Um, as you can see here, we have 2023 Kiwi. And then it says here, one ounce silver specimen finish. A specimen coin and they refer to it being a specimen finish which is why I'm getting tongue you know tongue tied here well what is that because you know up until earlier today I did not know what that meant and I really I think I've come across it once before and I couldn't remember what it did well it means that it's been essentially treated with particular attention, i.e. it's of high standard to finish. One could argue it's actually proof-like or a proof coin because, well, that's what they're, you know, classifying it as. Let you pause and have a read there. But there's only 5,000 of these being minted, as you can see here. The Reserve Bank of um, New Zealand. You got the New Zealand postmark. You got a little... Uh, barcode, a nice holographic image, collectibles at New Zealand Post dot, uh, co dot New Zealand. So rather nice it comes in now. Now here's the downside. Obviously it's stuck in this card and I do mean stuck in it. And on the back we have a whole host of information. So we have everything from, let's try to focus on this a little bit. Um, this is here, one New Zealand dollar, uh, three nines fine silver, uh, reverse proof-like. See, so now they're calling it proof-like. So I was right at the beginning saying that, that it was proof-like. Milled edge, which of course you can't see, that's annoying. Um, the designer is Stephen Fuller. There you go, something I was going to say anyway. And the mint is B.H. Myers. Um, so there we go. Let's have a look first off on Queen Elizabeth's side. And we can see here, it is, as they say, 999, one ounce silver, New Zealand. We have Ian Rank Broadley's signature. Now this has like a plastic film, which is kind of annoying because look at that. It leaves that little mark, but I can't see that it is anything else. However, looking at this coin in particular, I have to be honest, look at the bottom of the neck, there's some scratches. And I wasn't actually, you know, hoping or wanting to see anything. Or are they actually scratches? Let's see here. No, sadly, they actually are scratches on the queen's neck. I would have thought that perhaps it wasn't going to be. But no, it is. There's some tiny micro scratches. So proof-like as it may, I mean, they're only minute. And it, please understand, I am looking at this to give you an idea. There's my horrible thumbnail and all that. We are looking at 
intense magnification here. Um, so, yeah, they couldn't really, and this is down to the fact that this kind of white part is down to the fact that it's just under these covers, I think. Although, looking at it, no, that actually, maybe, that is actually. Ugh. Okay, right. Well, I was beginning to really love this coin until I got to have a look at the queen side, and uh, I'm a little bit disappointed in that, actually. Uh, that caught me a bit off guard. You can... If you do really want to rip apart the cardboard, obviously, because uh, it's only sandwiched between, but you can't pull it out. It will not allow you to pull it out and go from there. Now here is the denomination. We have one dollar, um, and it's the Toka Kia Southern Brown Kiwi. And I'm not going to try to pronounce that other part that says before Australia. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, see if we, no, we can't actually just about see the milled edge. So, yeah, there you go. You can. It's raised just enough to do so. So this is a cute little kiwi foraging, looking for food. And actually, I, you know, I always love these things because I think they've been stuck in a evolutionary stage. And, uh, you know, I think the depiction, uh, my goodness, I can't talk today is amazing. Let's see here, look at the detail on it. It is, yeah, it is absolutely stunning. You can see that it's grabbing some food and yeah, it's amazing. Now, as I said, this is only, uh, this only has a mintage of 5,000 and is one that, I'm trying to see if there's any rays on it. Yeah, there is. There's a, a slight lift on the coin. So, yeah. It, as a collector, this would be an amazing coin. However, my biggest concern is with that back side here. And I am debating whether or not this these marks here are actually on there on the coin or are just a reflection of the the shadow. Now, I can see the micro scratches, that's fine. I you know I get that. But sadly that really is on the coin. So even though they've been treated with respect, with love and everything else, it's still just bullion. It looks like it's been something that's been done when they've sealed it because you can tell there's some circular lines going around it here. So someone's messed up somewhere. Perhaps it could just be glue from this plastic and it is like a film going around, but that kind of detracts and spoils away from this absolute beautiful image on the front. Now, I'm unsure what to do. Let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts and opinions are because I'm kind of stuck on this one. One, it probably would never leave its case anyway. So it obviously would just stay within a wrapping and that would be it. But for something that is, you know, is proof-like and it comes with those marks, that kind of puts me off almost immediately despite this being an amazingly beautiful coin. So, yeah, I'm curious to know what your thoughts and opinions are. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on Wednesday. Have a great day wherever you are. Bye-bye.